Mountain goat. I mean, there's like a whole skeleton buried in here. That's just crazy. Right now we are looking at a wall of rock that is full of dinosaur fossils. I told you this is where pandas was supposed to I'm Heather. This is Brady, Alexa, and Chloe. We are currently traveling around the United States living in our self-converted Sprinter van. In today's video, we find our best campsite yet and explore Dinosaur National Monument. So we just arrived to our campsite tonight and we are greeted by a wild mountain goat on top of that mountain, which is just incredible. Alexa spotted it and goes, mountain goat. But this very well might be the best spot that we have found so far. Heather found this spot on iOverlander and man, the mountains in the background, the red cliffs, the mountain goat, it's just incredible. That's a good one. Um, Mama. This is pretty insane. When we pulled in, I spotted a mountain goat. Can I go closer? Sure, you can climb all the way to the top of the mountain. We, we would know. Go give him a snuggle. No! What? Do you think he has anybody to snuggle with up there? Other goat. You're in rough shape, Chloe. <laughs> You'll be okay. We just set up our campsite. We are right outside of Dinosaur National Monument. And this is where we are. I can't even believe it. This is BLM land that we get to camp at for free. Tomorrow we are gonna wake up early and go on a little hike and go see the quarry, which is full of dinosaur bones. The girls are so excited and we cannot wait. Bacchiosopus. Are you excited to go see dinosaurs today? Yes. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning. Is that a pretty good view, Alexa? So we are currently at the Dinosaur National Monument Quarry. Right now we are looking at a wall of rock that is full of dinosaur fossils. This is insane. So apparently what happened here is this used to be an ancient river and there was a drought. So all the dinosaurs would come here to drink and the water was gone. So they would end up dying by this river. Then eventually there was a flood and all of the bones kind of washed up together and then sunk to the bottom of the river. Well then this was discovered after that all that water dried up again 
and all of the bones kind of piled in one place. Some of them were buried quickly. Some of the dinosaurs were buried quickly so that they're, they're full um, skeletons and then others were kind of scattered throughout time so that's where we see like the different bones kind of all over the place. But there are actually many dinosaurs that they pulled from this location that are in museums around the world. This is what I want to be when I grow up. What do you want to be? Paleontologist. No, that's who discovered the dinosaur bones, not yeah. dig them up. You want to dig them up and study them? No, dig them up. Dig them up. Dig them up. Dig them up. So what's crazy is that there are 1,500 dinosaur bones visible just in this small area here, from what I understand. And I mean, it's just crazy to think how many more there could be if they dug further up the window. There's more. I just, I never would have imagined that so many dinosaur bones would be so densely crammed in one small area. It's actually quite impressive. I want to go to the Carnegie Mommy, Museum of Natural, right Natural History because that's where most of the right stuff is. Yeah, it's like one like of the best museums in the world. Really? Yeah. Like <laughs> Mommy, what? Alexa, is this your first time touching a real dinosaur bone? Yes. Me too. <laughs> On? A junior ranger activity book. If you fill it all out, what do you get? A badge. Ooh, that would be good in your backpack. Me too? Yep, you too. Okay, fill it out. Now that I know how it died, it didn't have any water left to swim in. Awesome. Well, that was so cool. We are now going to go for a little hike if we can. Obviously, Chloe is not walking like her normal self. So we'll see how far we can get, but apparently there's a great hike right around here. See the prairie dog up ahead? Do you see him standing up on his legs? That's so cool. Man, that's amazing. It looks like a meerkat. It does look like a meerkat. Oh, another one just crawled out of its hole. Miles and miles on the clear blue sky. We drive straight as a narrow fly. So getting to see prairie dogs like that was definitely an awesome, unexpected surprise. It was cool to see them come out of their hole, uh, go looking for food, come back, feed their babies. I was shocked that we were able to get up that close without disturbing them uh, and get to enjoy seeing them. You Look at this rock. There's some petroglyphs on it. Seriously? Yeah. Whoa. <gasps> so Whoa. Angels. Yeah, Chloe, there's Angels. cave drawings. Angels. Finally, we found some. After we were finished with this hike, we were gonna go check out some petroglyphs, which are the cave drawings. These are like a thousand years old, and we're so excited to see those, but we just found some on this hike right now, which is really cool. So this is our first hike after our long eight mile hike that we did in Moab. 
Everyone's doing pretty good, but we are a little tired. What does it feel like? Oh, that nice looks like yeah. something. A small little bone right here, okay. That's really cool. Pretty neat, huh? Can I feel it? Yeah. yeah. What is that, Chloe? A bone! Oh, oh my god. Right here. So cool. Yeah, right so, we climbed all the way up here to see a bone in the rock and on our hike. Was it worth it? Mm-hmm. Was it? Uh-huh. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, there's like a whole skeleton buried in here. That's just crazy. Girls, I bet if you went digging out here, you'd find dinosaur bones. I think so. Too bad it's not allowed. I know. This is where panthers look at them. All these lines, they look like dinosaurs. Even up there, it looks like dinosaur bones. You think so? Yeah. It's dense. Chloe, are you digging for dinosaur bones? That does actually look like a dinosaur bone. See, it's connected right here. It has the bumps, and it connected to this. It doesn't look like a big rock to me. I found a dinosaur bone. We have a future archaeologist on our hands. Chloe is obsessed with finding dinosaur bones. This house looks like Abraham Lincoln's house. <laughs> cool, let's go check it out. What's the side house we need? Maybe we can move in here. Look how the wall is curved. So somebody decided that they wanted to build a house here, so they cut the trees down stacked them up and then they filled with mud in between the logs so this is called josie's ranch this house was built in around 1950 by this woman who just came out here and her children had grown and she had been divorced and she was all alone she came here she built this house all by herself because there was great land around and easy access to water and she just did it all on her own. I think that's pretty impressive. Chloe, do you want to build a house? Yeah! Throughout Dinosaur Monument, there are about a hundred known petroglyph sites, and we're gonna go check out uh, one of them right now. I think I see a cane crawling. Oh, let's go check it out, okay, buddy? Over there, see, it looks like a smiley face. There are cane drawings! Let's go. The girls have been so excited to find these cave drawings. They have been looking everywhere for them and trying to point them out Look, if I they don't. see anything. And this is this is really cool. From the moment that we met, you worth the wait. Look at that goat right Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. I found a cave dog. That's a goat and that's a person. Good job, buddy. Good discovery. Talk for hours and never slept. Two silhouettes on the concrete steps. We watched the sun as it slowly crept from the horizon to the place we Thanks so much for watching. In our next video, we explore the largest sand dunes in North America. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it.